All right, two prominent sorority groups want to rescue 22 acres of black history they believe are in grave danger. Yeah, and it may be the last chance to restore the historic Woodlawn Cemetery, a burial ground for prominent Washington African Americans dating back nearly 200 years. News Sports Millette Green saw firsthand what needs to be done. She joins us now with in the newsroom with more. Hey, Millette, good morning. Good morning to you, ladies. I had a chance to meet up with members of Zio Omega Chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha and the DC alumni chapter of Delta Sigma Theta, the groups leading this latest effort to restore this place of history, and they're asking for the community's help. These rolling hills are filled with history. It's not an easy walk through in this condition. The expansive 22.5 acres that make up historic Woodlawn Cemetery. Two predominantly black sorority groups in Washington who have founding members buried among the 36,000 are working to clear a path forward. We have Marjorie Hill, who in 1908, Howard graduate, became part of the small group of women who started or who founded Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. Also, Sarah Meriwether Nutter. Our founder, Mary Edna Brown Coleman, is buried here. We did some searching to find her, and it was kind of worn away, and uh, we could barely see her name and all. It's overrun with uncut grass, weeds, and brush, overgrowth all around toppled or crumbling tombstones. Only a slab remains of the front office that once welcomed visitors. Since this 19th century burial ground is no longer in operation, there's no money coming in for upkeep. We need people on a higher level to get involved in preserving these cemeteries. When they go to this cemetery and the records, the people who are buried here are in the annals of black history. It is a final resting place of trailblazers, including Blanche Bruce, a former slave who became a senator. He died in 1898. The Woodlawn Collaborative Project calls this hallowed ground. No small task for the members to bring it back to its splendor as a proper memorial and member of the National Register of Historic Places. And this is American history, it's D.C. history, and it's family history. We will be working together for the next four years to do all we can. That these rolling hills are not just grass and overgrown weeds, that some major individuals are buried here, and that this is, again, hallowed grounds. And they tell me if they could just get a company to volunteer to just cut the grass, that would be a big start for them as they continue to look for donations and try to get money from federal and local sources. And they do open the gates to the public during major holidays, Labor Day, Veterans Day, uh, those uh, holidays. But, you know, this is going to be a long effort, mm -hmm. and they are committed to the task. Well, it's an important yeah. job to do. Just so. a reminder, there's just history literally mm -hmm. all around yes, us, important yes. history. Thank you, Millette.